Hello viewers, Unnecessarily Long Remixer name here, and after an over 3 month hiatus from making critical videos and many delays, the Manita 18 video is finally being made. Yay! The time has come. I need to do this crap. I hate this. So, Mandia is a interesting little one. Hell, I don't even know what's worst about him considering he's done a lot of bad things. But I do know what to start this off with. A review of his channel description. I think it takes the cake for one of the weirdest channel descriptions I've ever read. It's rare if people read them anyway, because most YouTubers are lazy. So it seems to be somewhat ignored. Let's begin! Hello, my name is Jason. Jason Kai Mandina. I'm now 14 years old, and I have a crush on Lucy Loud. Plus, I'm friends with Spongebob, the Loud family, the emotions from Inside Out, Mugman, Homer's the Tank Engine, Kappa Mikey, and more. I'm going to go for the assumption that this guy does not update his descriptions that much. Because I don't see him mention Inside Out much now, he never mentions Kappa Mikey, and now has a crush on Loa Loud instead. I love Spongebob, the Loud Kid, Mungman, Bill Cipher, Papa Mikey, Promise a Tank Engine, etc. And I like playing video games too, and my favorite video game is GTA 4. I do find it a bit funny how he's playing Grand Theft Auto, considering he doesn't sound like the kind of guy who'd be interested in it. But that's just my petty generalizations. And wait, wasn't he 14? Actually, I'm not too sure anymore because of the rest of his description. The date of birth says February 1st, 1988, which would make him 29 years old by the time of this video. But the bio later says he is 12. Would that mean he was born in 2004? Then again, he likely doesn't update his descriptions. Worse yet, he leaked his phone number and school on there, which I censored because I care about his privacy. At least he didn't put his address. And as usual, he uses the good and bad user terms on there. But that makes me ask, how do we know if we are good or bad users? I doubt it's the person's decision because that would be weird. As for video content, he uploads a ton of random videos. These can range from questions, to art, to simple edits. However, all of his work has no originality in it. But I guess to the Loud House fanbase, that's not really a bad thing, because his poorly edited Spongebob in the Loud House video has over 1 million views. But there is definitely something wrong about this screenshot. Take a guess on what's wrong with it. It's pretty freaking easy, honestly. He also has this weird infatuation for shipping Spongebob with Low Loud. The sad backstory video alone has almost 200,000 views. But this shipping raises a lot of questions. One of which being, why is Spongebob being shipped with a 6 year old? And another one is, how is Spongebob supposed to breathe on land? And no, making a headcanon about Loa being a mermaid is a shitty excuse. He also makes a lot of videos with the loud characters being babies, and even fetishy crap with them doing gross stuff. Like this one, for instance. I do find it funny how a lot of this fetish crap involves Super Mario and Logan in some way, but not really a surprise given his fanbase consists of young children. For some strange reason, it reminds me of the sad Loud House fad. An example that shows the Loud fandom can be masochistic towards the Louds to the point of driving them to depression, being heavily injured, or dead. Pleasant dreams, fellas. Though considering the Loud fandom's quick to jump onto fans, it looks like we have another character named Lola dubbed as top tier waifu material by weirdos and love shies alike. Lola budding was bad enough, and now we have an underage child being seen as fat material. Take notes, SP99 and Jorajik, because drawing fetish art out of these characters can be classified as child porn. If you decide to exclusively just make typical fan art, or sensical crossovers, you're good. But now going on a tangent. Back to videos, a lot of his video ideas are ripped off from Che Cook. Their character designs are pretty much identical with only slight tweaks done. Che wears a yellow shirt with blue pants, and Mandina wears a yellow Spongebob shirt with red pants. Looking at these two side by side shows how <coughs> different they are. Take Che's version of his Super Bowl outfit. It's just a red shirt with the number 51 on it. Nothing too atrocious about it besides its blandness and it being taken with a camera. Then there's Mandita's version. Do you see what's wrong here? Well, his dumbass self thought it was Super Bowl 60, so he put a number 60 on there. At least it's a direct capture and the eyes are sized normally, even though that makes the styling a little more bland. Actually, there were even more problems with his videos. There's ads on this video, meaning he gets a slight profit off of these. When you basically rip off someone else, that's more or less copyright infringement, but we'll get to that in a bit. Mandina also made a video saying the website can't be reached there or sucks, just like Che Cook did. And he doesn't just rip off Che, he also ripped off Brendan Barney when he did a rant on copyright infringement, proof that autism never changes. Wah! How dare you make a joke about mentally disabled people? They are special, you fucking neo-Nazi edgeworm! Fuck off. Actually, now that I mentioned that video, that rant was more or less a rant on the copyright system, 
down to misusing the terms, stealing the quotes, and using the same examples. Though, unlike Brendan's rant, I do slightly question some of the choices of videos that were blocked. However, the video was still worse than Brendan's for it being a ripoff. Back to his Loud House obsession, a video of a baby version of Leany Loud crying has apparently gotten quite a lot of views as well, roughly over 60,000 of them. Basically, it's a low quality sound effect of a baby crying with two pictures and a Spongebob background. Though, there are apparently quite a few comments, so I'll read a few of them for you guys. Poor Lini! Poor thing! How to help baby Lini now feel better! One, kiss her! Two, hugs! Three, milk! Four, a toy! Five, solve her problem! Bleach, please! Yeah. There's a lot of hate comments there, too. There are also these odd videos like him stealing something from Watership Down Fanatic 2003, some video being overly excited over there being no homework, Seriously, it's not that big of a deal. In a video of four characters singing the Fairly Odd Parents theme. Now, the audio for the video is unbelievably high quality. So smooth that it makes Steve a gunner cry a river. Wanna listen? Here you go. It goes like this. Wasn't that harmonious? There's not even lyrics on screen, just a still image. God damn, even Michael Eddie Admirer could do better than this. At least he puts the lyrics in. I can do that too with no effort. But because I'm lazy, I made this piece of joke art which summarizes these dumb singing videos. They aren't singing. Oh great, now I gotta stay in the corner and think about what have I done. And now back to this whole copyright infringement thing. He has sometimes uploaded clips from shows he likes and sometimes disguises them as message videos or user videos. Some offers are just lazily done edits. Given he gets a profit off of this stuff, I don't think he knows very much about copyright law. Then again, he uses fair use as an excuse. Now, there's nothing too wrong about his edits being uploaded, but they definitely aren't something I'd profit off of. As for those user videos, they can both be against copyright law and policies against harassment and bullying in many cases. Tell that to the people who upload the opening to Toy Story 2 and put a random user in. The only twist is that they actually lose. I suggest them to stop monetizing the user videos and edits and actually go ahead and make original content. Also, his DVD is just a lot of the stuff from his YouTube channel, just with more memes and lists. Final thoughts, Medina has got to be one of the most inept content creators I've seen in a while. He milks the Loud House, steals content, rips off people, and paints a lot of people who do like the Loud House and Spongebob in a bad light. Though I gotta say this before the video ends. Don't go and stalk this guy, because he isn't evil by any means. It's not like he docks personal information, well, besides his own, or wanted to murder people. I disliked what happened with Che Cook, and I don't want it to carry here. This is Bracken 37 signing out, and enjoy the sound of silence whilst the sick figure sings. SpongeBob.